it's Vix here. Just a short video for you today. I'm just going to show you a really easy, reliable technique that you can use if you struggle when you're drawing your double outline letter S. It's quite a tricky one because obviously the proportions you have to get right, sometimes it ends up being top heavy or really distorted and wonky. So hopefully this method will really help you and give you a bit of confidence just to make sure you can practice and get that letter S right every time. I'm starting off here with a nice sharp pencil just to make sure I get that really fine line. I'm going to draw a rectangle just to give a bit of structure to start with. Six centimetres by four centimetres and nice and lightly so I can rub it out afterwards. Divide that box in two. This is just really basic to get us started. So I'm sketching a C shape really lightly in that top section and underneath, directly underneath the C, I'm doing a kind of U shape really lightly. To get our double outline, we also need to sketch a smaller C and a smaller U just inside those two shapes. This is a slightly trickier part, so you're going to take that bottom line from the C and try and join it to the inner line on the U with a slightly straighter edge. And you do the same with the inner line of the C and the outer line of the U. And you can see there that we've got our basic S shape already. Just need to draw the little ends on. You can still go over and refine the shape if you're not quite happy with it. That's the whole bonus of using sketching and drawing really lightly. Then I'm just going to use my fine line pen to finalise my edges and there's my perfect S. Now I have to admit that this technique was taught to me when I was about 14 by my DT teacher and it's stuck with me ever since. It was so useful so I hope that you can use it as well. Give it a go, five basic steps. The more you practice, the more confident you'll feel. And then you can use that as a basis to draw much more exciting and creative fonts. Just to prove that the theory works with other font styles, here I'm just showing you the style of Great Wishes, which is a bit more like a kind of handwritten style of lettering. It's much more fluid and kind of curly. But again, sketching that C shape on the top, even though it's quite small, and the U shape underneath, it's the same principle, you sketch those two forms, then join them up. Same again with something like Times New Roman, although that middle section is quite thick compared to the curly ends, it's the same theory, sketch the C, sketch the U, and then start to join those outer edges up together. So just a quick one from me today. Hope you found it useful. Let me know in the comments if you've used the technique and it helped you out with any posters or headings that you've done in your journals or anything like that. Or if you want me to show you any other numbers or letters and any ideas that you could use for them, just go ahead, write it in the comments below. Subscribe if you want to see more. And thanks for watching. Bye.